everybody, I have a second unhaul video. Today, is it my second one? I believe so. If not, it'll be right in the title. Just a little bit ago, I was going through my shelves, just trying to find things that I know I won't read, because it clears up space, it makes me feel better that I have a smaller TBR, and overall, these are just a handful of things I don't think I'll ever get to. There's not that many of them. The first book that I'm going to talk about is Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. I bought this really cheap because I was like, hey, I haven't seen the movie, or pff, movie, hey, I haven't seen the TV show, might as well try it. And it's in pretty bad condition, but I really didn't care because I just wanted to read it and try it. And honestly, I don't think I will ever get to it, so, um... Yeah. The next book is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I bought this because it was like a dollar and I was like, hey, I've heard of that. And really, I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. And wait, there's something in here. What the hecky? Where'd it go? It's a receipt from Barnes and Noble in 2009. So I have an old receipt from 2009. That's cool. Hashtag used books. <laughs> I really don't know what this is about at all. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. You know what? I do know what I was thinking. I was saying, hey, I've heard of that and it's cheap. I'm going to buy it. And now that I have it, I'm like, eh. Okay, I tried to do this video with hair down, but it is so hot. Ah, <sighs> besser. The next book is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. And I've been telling myself for the longest time I'm going to read this because people are like, it's amazing and it's like a really national bestseller. So I wanted to read this because I time travel sounds cool and also it's just been so highly acclaimed. But I was spoiled on it. Just now it's like lost its luster and I'm like, do I really have time for this? This is actually one that I'm like, I don't know if I should or not. I've never tried reading it before. Let me just like read the first sentence and see if I even like it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm already just kind of like, eh. So yeah, this is going. And this is always on clearance at places because everyone donates this book. So I don't feel bad about getting rid of it because if I ever change my mind, I can go buy it for 50 cents somewhere. On my bookshelf, I have a shelf dedicated to authors that I own more than three books from, and it's kind of like a highlight section kind of of my favorite authors, even though some of them aren't my favorites. And there I have John Green, David Levithan, Sarah Dessen, Mitch Album, and Laurie Hulse Anderson. And I used to love Laurie Hulse Anderson's writing, but now I've just kind of been like, eh. So, these two books I'm getting rid of from Lori Hall Sanderson, even though I told myself I'd own all her books one day, but now I just really don't care. This first one is Prom, and the second one is Fever 1793. I bought this just because it had her name on it, and I was like, oh, it's Lori Hall Sanderson. I'll read all her books one day. And then I actually read the description, and it sounds so cheesy and bad, and I don't think I'd ever read it. So this is going... And this, I honestly would keep, but I've tried reading it before. It's like a middle grade book, and I just don't think it's gonna be that good, so. The next book is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I tried reading this this summer, dropped it in the pool, so it's all water damaged and beautiful. And now I just gave up on it for more than one reason. Sarah Dessen honestly bores me to death, so I don't feel bad about getting rid of this, even though it's like the shortest book of her I have. Yeah, I don't know if anyone will even accept this because it's so badly damaged, but uh, yeah, not keeping it. Then I have a book called Grayson by Lynn Cox. No one's really heard of this because it's not like a well-known, amazing bestseller book, but I love books in this binding. I think it's so pretty and I like the way it's papery and it's small and I like the deckled edges and this book I bought because of that because it was like on clearance for a dollar for a cover that I like and then I read the description and it's about a lady who finds this injured whale and she I guess nurses it back to health. I'm not sure and that I always told myself I would read it but now I'm just like I bought it because the cover and I don't want to read a nonfiction book. So this is going. Sorry. And lastly is Flipped by Wendelin Van Drenen. I didn't want to get rid of this one because I was like, oh, it's short. I'll just go through it really fast. But then I tried reading it and read three chapters of it and just was like, uh-uh. I'm not going to be able to get through this unless I really try. And I don't really 
want to try. So this is leaving two. And so we have a handful of books that I'm giving to half price books. Once more, I'm sorry, I can't send any of these out to you. So yeah, I'm gonna get money for these, then go buy more books. That's a really bad idea. And now we're done. So thank you for watching this unhaul video number three, not two. I will see you next time. Toodles.